नमस्कार प्रिय दर्शक दि प्राइम शो सक स्वागत जानसो मैं पार्थ बरा प्रिय दर्शक आम सबुरी राज्य मणिपुर अग्निदग्ध कारण तो संघात लिप्त संघातर सूत्रपात दूटा जनगोष्ठ मजदूर इतम कारण बी विवेचित मुहूर्त जिस मेटे सम्प्रदाय लोक मणिपुर सर्वबृह सम्प्रदाय बहुद दुहजार बार सन एस्टिर मर्यादा विचार आसे और अति सम्प्रति जो एप्रिल माह मणिपुर उच्च न्यायालय एक निर्देश प्रेरण कर राज्य सरकार ने और निर्देश क्या है मेटे सकलक एस्टिर मर्यादा दियार जी अनुमोदन सभी अनुमोदन केन्द्र में प्रेरण कर सहज भावे लोबरा ना जनजात लोक मणिपुर जनजात लोक समदल ऊल जी समदले समदल फल संघात संघात हिंसात्मक हो केन्द्र सरकार हस्तक्षेप कर पेरामिलिटेर फोर्सेेस आसाम राइफल्स प्रेरण कर आर्मी प्रेरण कर बर्तमान गुलियागुली चलि थार खबर आम हाथ आई अर्डार दिया सूटेड सैटर एक प्रकार अग्निगर्भा मणिपुर आम सूबुरिया राज्य अन्नतम कारण एट सम्प्रदाय जनगोषी एस टी डिमांड अनुरूप भावे छोष्ठ एस टी डिमांड एस टिर दबी उत्थन कर एस टी दबी उत्थन अन्नतम कारण ने ने मणिपुर की कथा जानवे चेस्ा कर बुझे चेस्ा कर मूर सूडिओत संयुक्त हो मोर ज्येष्ठ सतीर्थ और मोर स दिल्लर पर संयुक्त हो डर माले मालेम निंग थाउजा कैम्पेन फर पीस एंड डेमोक्रेसि इन मणिपुर एज मुरब्बी एजतम सदस्य और जीतु माले बुझी नपाये आम इंगराजी कथोपकथन कर पुने पुने मैं प्रथम नीलय भट्टाचार्यर ऊर से बर्तमान आपडेट जानी मणिपुर बर्तमान की इंटरनेट बंध कर दिया सूटेड सैटर अर्डर दिया कार्फ्यू दिया केन्द्र हस्तक्षेप कर खूब बेहद खबर आई मणिपुर सीखी दोपरिया आज पार्थ एटिया बर्तमान एक मुहूर्त कथा जो मूल सोधा तैयार होटेल भर मोर सतीर्थ किसान सांबादिक जी दिल्लर इार गई तथे जी जाना जो गोटे इम्फल सहर एटिया बंदूक गुलिर शब्द चार अंधकार गुलिर शब्द और ठाये ठाये जुँ सो वान फर्टी फोर और सूटेड सैट अर्डार पीछे इम्फल सहर बर्तमान अवस्था ए और द्वित कथा हल ये मुहूर्त तो मोबाइल ब्रडबेडरों का दिया मोबाइल इंटरनेट बंध ब्रडबेड बंध तार मैंने कम्यूनिकेशन सको लिंक बंध येस येस मणिपुर इज भार्चुअल डि लिंक फ्रम द आउटसाइड वर्ल्ड सीचुएन सीमान बेहतर परिस्थिति सीमान बेहतर और क्रम अवनित मणिपुर इम्फल सहर अन्न्य की स्थान चुराचानपुर गोटेक पहाड़िया जिया कांगपोक पीक चुराचानपुर तमेंगले मरे इम्फल वेस्ट सको अंचल जो कूक और नगा समुदाय लोक आए जो माइटे समुदाय लोक आज संघात कूक और माइटे जनगोषी मजदूर संघात पहाड़िया जनगोषी और माइटर मजद पहाड़ जनगोषी जो कौन छत्तीसा जनगोषी आए छत्तीसा जनगोषी भर आम नागा आम कूक और आम नागा बहल के ग्रुप लोब पे कूक माइटे संघात आज निकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलिकलि
uh, getting Schedule Tribe will solve all these problems. That's the reason why... Is this the only problem of land? Is this the, Dr. Malam, is this the, uh, is this the problem of land? Uh, because people from Imphal Valley, uh, who are essentially Mete, they cannot buy land in 10 hills district. Vice versa, no, the people from the hills no. district, they can buy land. So, so are, are the peop Mete people facing an existential okay. crisis? Because mm. population is coming down. I was reading in internet today, 1951. In 1951, Mete were comprised of 59% of entire Manipur. Mm. Now, it has come down to 44%. Mm -hmm. So, there is a fear psychosis of being uh, marginalized. Mm -hmm. There is no. that kind of perceptions being felt by a large section of the Mete population. But the connections between several tribe status and land holding is that Maitais believe that the, there is large scale immigration from outside uh, who have become land owners in, in, in Manipur. And they think that two, two ways. They think that number having one. Said, uh, Malam, having said outsider, are you referring to Myanmar? When we say outsiders, it includes uh, peoples from other parts of India, okay. plus yeah. peoples from the, outside the country. So they think that the getting settled tribe status would enable them to uh, restrict purchase of land by outsiders from their own hand. This is one perception because uh, many outsiders of land now have uh, bought, become big land owners in Manipur. They think that ILPS, though they have got ILPS, ILPS will not be successful in uh, preventing outsiders from buying up land. They think that uh, uh, Cyril tribe will enable them or give them special constitutional uh, protections to uh, restrict transfer of land from indigenous hands to the outsiders. That is one perception. That, that is have. one perception. Uh, Niloy, yeah. uh, just give Malam the update what's happening uh, in Manipur because he's sitting in Delhi. His family members, friends must be in Imphal. Internet is banned. Wi-Fi is banned. Situation is very grim out there. And if you have any question to him. Malam, first thing is that uh, the tribals uh, say that like you people, uh, the, the, the Maites are more privileged economically in social status. So therefore, they should not be provided ST status. First of all, that. Secondly, the thing is that uh, prior to this, uh, uh, in Churachanpur, when the CM was about to address a meeting out there and also inaugurate a gym. Uh, so then that night the entire uh, stage was br brought down vandalized the gym was burnt and the, it was a clear signal to the chief minister that do not come to the hills we do not accept you and whatever you uh, but that was a direct signal and the cm possibly or probably should have understood it then at that point of time so like do you really think uh, that this is an issue of providing ST status or, or, or clearing, clearing off the forest land, forest land and, and, and eviction drives? All these things have actually uh, come together and escalated the things to such an extent that today it is beyond control. Or there is some <coughs> behind politics, some behind uh, b b b narratives that is working in ground. No, you have raised so many things which are all valid, but I, I am I'm worried that I will not be able to respond in this short moment for a while. But let me put it simply that number one, uh, the the demand for ST has been opposed by a section of the, the elites who are, according to my belief, economically and socially, you know, they are too advanced that they no longer deserve to be in the tribal category. I have so much of reservations in regards to all these quota systems. So I think that this is in, uh, in being perceived by a section of the population who still belongs to a particular tribe or the community, but in terms of economic uh, growth and development, intellectual levels and kind of nexus and accessing to the entire world, I don't think that they belong to, uh, okay. they, they do not deserve to be in, in, in the tribe status. I'm talking about those individuals. Yes, it's true that there is uh, some kind of protest to sick ministers and there is a reasons behind that. And it's a long history and, and a long accumulated process. They will not like uh, destructions of poppy cultivation, that seems to me. And they will oppose uh, protection of the f forest and the and a re reserved and the un unprotected reserves. Now, let me tell you a brief history, okay, just to yeah. clarify, clarify the point. The point is that there is, there, there is a sizable population of cookies living in Manipur, and this comprises of the old cookies and the recent migrations. The migrants who came in different phase of the history 
in, in different ways and in this different categories. And they are, and, and, and comprising all together, they have a vision to create their own homeland. And they are very expansionist, expansionist in the sense like they would uh, occupy territories wherever they could. There is a Ma'am, let me, let, can I, if, yes. if I may, if I may interrupt you for a second, like these cookies, you say they are expansionists, they have come and occupied Manipur land. So they are, they are infiltrators from across the border or from the neighboring state. No, I will not say in infiltrators. I said different waves of migrants have, uh, of, of cookie elements have come into uh, Manipur in different point of time. Migration from where? Yeah. Migration from where? Migration from the, from the, from other parts of India could be or or or, or, or could, could be, be from yeah. Myanmar. The point is that we have not been able to. Uh, they are not supporting to uh, detect outsiders, so it's very difficult to point out who and where and how they exactly come from. But but there are records in history, starting from the British records till that, to prove that there are different waves of migrations. Now the the point is the, the the problem comes when there is a Zionist model of creating a separate homeland uh, exclusively for for the cookies and they are adopting some kind of ethnic cleansing programs. Although they always try to play victims card, it's it, in reality it's the uh, expansionist model which took place. And we have already witnessed from 1992 to 96 onward an ethnic class between cookies and the Nagas on the questions of land ownership. The Maitais were not in the epicenter of the issues at that point of time. Uh, Malay, now, ma ma yes, ma yes. Another, point, just... another point when you raise the issue of cookie, just a small thing, I'm not interrupting you for long. Is there an angle of conversion, religious conversion also out here? No, that's not an issue. Yeah. That's, that's, never, that's never an issue. Uh, now, the, the point is that uh, over the years after 1992 to 96 so down, they have been able to develop their arm strengths. I'm talking about the reactionary and the uh, communal forces who do not believe in the idea of Manipur. I'm talking about those sections of the population. They have been able to build up their uh, arm strength and uh, they have entered into SU. SU, yeah, they have used SU, I mean, suspension of operation as a strategic alliance uh, operating under the, uh, the terms and conditions whereby they do not involve directly in confrontations with the Indian state or with the Indian army, but they are able to use that as tactics to build up their own forces and expand their uh, the, the, the ex expand their uh, you know territorial Malem, expansion. Malem, 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 is the NRC a solution to it as proposed by the Chief Minister and Biren Singh? Is the NRC because NRC is being uh, you know the experiment of NRC, which uh, which we saw in Assam was not very successful. In Manipur CM has also proposed an NRC for the state of Manipur. So, is the NRC a solution to this problem of migration, wave of migration, which uh, Manipur See, had seen in different phases of different phases? Every state or territory has to have a population policy which should be able to identify who their peoples are, who are outsiders and who are immigrants, who are refugees. We have to have a model, call it NRC or anything, that, that's a different thing. Well, we have seen the experience uh, in Assam that it's total failure in that sense. But we need some kind of a uh, check and balance system, whatever it is, call it NRC or any name, but the terms and conditions and the technical aspect has to be sorted out within Manipur among the stakeholders. But a registration to identify uh, the, the population to regulate the exit and the entry of uh, outsider is a, v v very much required. I have uh, yeah. uh, two uh, very short questions. Now, now, categorically, what is going on in Manipur at this point of time is a direct clash between the Kuki and the Maite? It's a direct clash between the Maite civilians and the Kuki civilians who are backed by, openly backed by the armed militant. That uh, is Kuki Revolutionary uh, Army. Kuki Revolutionary Army yeah. is still alive and active. No, we don't know who the forces are, but we have seen that Kuki militants are using AK rifles and other sophisticated weapons and attacking uh, Maite villages. So it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a confrontation between the, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, uh, the sections of the cookies and the Maites on the one hand, and, but the cookies are openly backed by those militant forces with sophisticated but arms. We, we, so, what we witness now, like what happened in Churachanpur yesterday to, and from uh, yesterday afternoon till today this moment, the, uh, the, uh, the quantum of violence is more in the capital city or in West Imf uh, Imphal. 
No, it's underreported. It's a retaliation to the already ethnic cleansing. No, it it is basically part. it is basically eye for an eye. Yes, it's a retaliation, and you and you are underreporting. Uh, I heard today news that some villages of my taste in the peripheral areas were, were being completely wiped out and destroyed. Uh, that's the news coming to me. That is the news coming. Do to you me. see? Any, do you see any 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 chance of invocation of the Article Three Fifty Five in such a situation? I don't know. It all depends upon government of India. They will take uh, hold of the situation. They will observe it and they, they will decide it. I have no idea because uh, yes, go government of do India. Do you sense government some of politics? Do you sense some politics in the entire uh, follow up to the incident and what is going on now? No. Regarding the assault on the, uh, the the ethnic cleansing programs, I could sense lots of political lobbies behind them. There could be many reasons for that. There is a lobby of the, I believe, there is a lobby, a lobby of the drug cartels and the poppy uh, farmers. That's what I believe. And these people are also invested in, in, in electoral politics. This is my assumption, presumptions. And in many things, there is connections between politicians and smug, uh, uh, drug smugglers. Is have been suspected by people uh, in in certain sections, and the, and yes, some the opposition may may I said may like to uh, escalate the, the you know trouble just to, to escalate the after, situation. after so much of bloodbath tomorrow. After so much of bloodbath tomorrow, like where do you see the solution lies? How would you live again in Imphal as neighbors? No, what if people be believe done? in the, if people believe in violence, then there has to be violence, and it's only after violence that peace comes into being. History shows that there are lots of wars have been fought people among people, civil wars have been fought, but afterward, people becomes when people become exhausted or when when when, when people becomes realized that it's of no use, then there has to be some how, kind how of. How long uh, shall uh, this continue? Uh, how long there shall this continue? Uh, no, until there is desire to fight among themselves, until they have the resources and the ability to control it. So no amount of 144, no amount of 144, no amount of suited side, orders would hold any water. Like you can't have, uh, you can't have a sort of suited order side permanently, right? Okay. You, you, you can't. Yeah. You, you, you can't. You can't. But the point is. But the point is. Malam. But the point and is. This, and this culmination. This culmination points is preceded by a series of sporadic incidents of communal targeting, particularly in the Koki dominated areas in Moray towns and in 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 and in, in some other areas. But the Malam. But the point is, the Metis are demanding ST status, and there is an order from the High Court. It is incumbent yeah. upon the chief minister or the Manipur government to follow the order of the high court. And the high court mm -hmm. has seen a basis to grant ST status to Meite. So, the center, it is, in, it is the duty of the center to intervene and to, and to execute the order of the high court. And the high court has ordered the government of Manipur to send a recommendation to the center uh, recommending the Maitis to be granted the ST status, uh, which no, the Maitis are demanding I, I, since 2012. So, so, so I, there sorry. has to be a solution somewhere, right? I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know if the High Court has really recommended the Manipur government to approve the Maitai's demands for ST. I have not read the entire text. They might have sent, uh, said the government of Manipur to send a recommendation, but I am not sure. Yeah, yeah, recommendation, the, yeah, I, I, yeah. If the High Court is the legitimate authority to decide the ST status of Manipur, I'm sorry, I don't think that. No, High no, Court no. I'm not saying High Court is the legitimate authority. High Court has a order. Uh, uh, High Court has ordered the Manipur government to look into the matter and send mm -hmm. some recommendation in this regard to the center. If I may that's, rephrase, that's, yeah, that's true. It's normal procedure. The government of Manipur should be doing that. Whether they uh, they, they approve the demand of the ST or not is different thing. But some kind of recommendations has to be sent to the center, right? And how, how? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some kind of recognition has to be sent, has to be uh, sent to the center. But my last question, I'll have to wind up because uh, yeah. because I have one another breaking news. I uh, last question to you is uh, the fear psychosis among the tribal population is Maitis are advanced communities. If they are they are given this status, they will eat up. They will eat up their opportunities in the field of edu education in the in land or in some ec economic activities. That is their fear psychosis. I so think how this, do is an exaggeration. this is an exaggeration and it's more of the propaganda. If you see the statistics of the uh, statistics of the uh, community backgrounds of the Manipuris, Manipur state machineries in the bureaucracy, in the police, all the 
the, the top ranking officers etc happens to be from the uh, you know uh, from the scheduled tribes okay and they have this advantage of contesting or applying for job board in the st categories and the general categories this seems to be an exaggeration particularly for communal propaganda it seems to me like that it seems to you like that so you advocate I that the mites should be granted the st status i don't say that but i say that the demands is the democratic one they have the right to demand they have to write to i demand. don't i don't believe in the reservation systems in india i i personally don't believe in it yes uh, i have certain data uh, niloy if 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 i get wrong i would request malam to correct me meite population in 1951 was 59% and that has come down to, to come down to 44% in 2011 meite is rd largest communities in manipur, manipur uh, their population is 44 lakhs and in, in imphal valley the, the population is 64% of the entire population population and is imphal valley is 10% of the entire landmass no, of manipur 10% uh, of entire landmass of manipur, manipur. 10% of entire landmass and rest are uh, all hills, 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 all hills. hills areas now the fear psychosis among metis is because they do not they can't buy land in hills but the people of hills they can buy land they yeah. see a capitalist agenda uh, the, the people from the hills they buy land they are buying lands in 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 my lama said no yeah. the expansion is uh, yeah, they have the expansion agenda of the uh, cookies there there is a misunderstanding often misreporting yes let's say for example the 10% of the land it belongs to the manipur valley but you can't say it belongs to my days okay there is lake there are hills there are official buildings campuses complexes state highways and then national highways international highways all cross crossings and and large sections of the populations from the tribals or non tribals from other parts of the country who have bought up land so it's it's completely wrong to presume that mate is on the 10% percent well it's a capital it's a capital it's a capital city so definitely yes, yes it will have official buildings it will have uh, all institutions and people from all around the but, but he is saying the mate is have the right on the 10% percent is wrong 10% percent of landmass is wrong what what he is saying uh, definitely yes barring those all those official places and places where these that is other people have come yeah. and actually bought land and have settled there so definitely yes so the problem is that other people can come to imphal or the valley area and purchase land and and start living out there whereas people from imphal cannot go out and purchase land out there and stay there right and yeah. th that is one that is one thing and that is again, one of the complexity and, and, and again, of the entire problem mate is mate is wanted the status or um, not mate is and there are democratic demands of uh, giving the Mate population st status because they wanted to preserve their tradition and culture. We have similar situation in Assam. Ahoms who ruled Assam for six uh, hundred years. A royal family from a home community ruled Assam for six hundred years. They are also demanding st status along with six hundred communities, Hi, which is being opposed by the Bodos, right? So, you know, just to another thing, I want to be quite to be quite to a home of the Hong Kong people. Hi, I tell you, okay, 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 okay. But into okay, okay, Hong Kong, how much did you into Mate Hong Kong? তেখেত সকলৰ হে দাবী আজি 12 বছৰ আজি 10 বছৰ 12 বছৰ ধৰি পলে একেই তেখেত সকলৰ দাবী যে তেখেত সকলক জনজাতিকৰণ লাগে তেখেত সকলক জনজাতি মৰ্যাদা লাগে আৰু সেইভাৱে হে সংঘৰ্ষ সেইভাৱে হে সংঘৰ্ষ আৰু তেখেততে কবাত নে কবাত তেখেত সকলৰ ধাৰণা যে যেহেতু তেখেত সকলৰ এছটি ষ্টেটাস নাই তেখেত সকলৰ আসলতে তেখেত সকলৰ জি জি ট্ৰেডিচন আছে তেখেত সকলৰ জি কালচাৰ আছে হেতু কবাত নে কবাত অলপ তেখেত সকলৰো হেতু হয় বাট দেন বাট দেন হোৱাট আই সি দা বটল নেক mate is uh, uh, a section of the mate is they are demanding as status status and another section of the tribal population they are opposing it yes. essentially the cookies where is the solution that is the main thing that is the main question that was what i was that was what there i was asking be, my lord there cannot be a, uh, there cannot be a military solution to it Hi. there has to be some understanding some agreeable but ajir ajir ei muhurtot ji paristhiti kuno kintu ekhuju pishu hoka nai আপনি চাওক তাত ছুটেড সাইড অর্ডার আছে আজকে মি আর তাত ছুটেড সাইড অর্ডার আছে তাত আপনার সারিউ ফালে আপনার পুলিশ আছে তাত র‍্যাপিড অ্যাকশন ফোর্স আছে কেন্দ্রীয় অর্ধসামরিক বল আছে মণিপুর স্টেট পুলিশ আছে সকলোখিনি টকা সত আর আজি আর কুলদীপ সিং কুলদীপ সিং এনআই এর ফরমার ডাইরেক্টর কুলদীপ সিং অক আজি সিএম অর প্রেস অ্যাডভাইজার হিসাবে তাত লোয়া হইছে সো হেটু আ নাও ডেভেলপমেন্ট রাইট সো এতে তেনে পরিস্থিতিত কিন্তু কোনো পিছু হুকা নাই কোনো পিছ কাজ এখন লাগি আছে দুইটা দলে জিদত আছে ওকে যে আমাক লাগিব হে কইছে যে দিলে আমি ধংখ হই যাম তুমি আপন লোকক দিব নোয়ারে ওকে কথা তো হেখিনিতে হয় পরিস্থিতি বিষম হইছে কারণ তেখেতকলে মাইটি হকলে দাবি কৰিছে যে কুকি হকলক 
কুকি সকল সন্ত্রাস বা অস্ত্রধারী কিছু মিলিটারি মালেম থ্যাংস ফর জয়নিং আই হোপ you know things gets normal very soon out there and ah. a solution comes out very soon thanks for joining giving us this time okay. we got okay. to know about the and real situation out there we got to understand what actually is happening and why ha why this is happening in manipur uh, through you to our viewers thanks for joining pro dorkhok eta biroti lom birotir pichot eta ati guruttopurno breaking news ji ghotona ghotisile margarita sei ji 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 tu pakhondoy সেই নারকীয় কাণ্ড করেছিল তো সেই পাখণ্ডটোর সম্বন্ধীয় কিছু ব্রেকিং নিউজ আমার হাতত আহি পড়ছে এটা বিরতি লোক লাগবে বিরতির পিছতে পুনে পুনে সেই বাতরিটি লো যাম শীঘ্রে ঘুরি আহিম আমার সহ থাকিব মার্ঘারিটারপা আমার সাংবাদিক আমার সহ স্টুডিওত থাকিব নীল ভাচার্য আজির দিন তোর শিরোনাম দখল করা একটা ডর খবর কিন্তু খবরটা জানাম বিরতির পিছত শীঘ্রে ঘুরি আহিম কেবল স্ট্রং নয়থান স্ট্রং মাইথান স্টিল নির্মাণর মানদণ্ড Six to